Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Reader's Workshop. Before we get started, let's make sure we're ready to learn. Eyes watching, ears listening, quiet as a mouse, still like a pretzel. Okay, so the last time we met, we learned about Stretchy Snake, and Stretchy Snake was kind of like Tappy Penguin, where we um, would say all the sounds in a word, but with Stretchy Snake, we stretch them out, and then we smush the sounds back together. So in your reading strategy toolbox, you now have seven strategies. You have your sight word strategies where you read them fast, eagle eye, where you look at the pictures, lips the fish, where you say the first sound in the word, pointer puppy, pointing underneath each word, tappy penguin. Oh. Yes, tappy penguin, where we tap out unknown words like this. Chunky monkey, where we look for a chunk and look for baby words, and then stretchy snake we just talked about. Okay, today you're going to learn about helpful kangaroo. How sweet and helpful, okay? Um, sometimes you've tried all the strategies you know. You've tried all the strategies we just reviewed, and you still get stuck. That's when you might need a little help from your teacher. Okay, you might need a little help. Helpful kangaroo is pretty simple strategy. All you have to say is, can you please help? Can you please help? All you have to do is ask for help. This is what it might sound like, okay? You might be reading and you might say, I don't know that word. Or you might say, I need help. Or you might say, I'm stuck. All of those are a way to ask for help. However, there's a couple things you should know beforehand. Just because you ask for help doesn't mean you're always going to get it, okay? And then you have uh, this little Home Alone guy going, come on, Mrs. Vanderkar, you just told me to ask for help, and now you're telling me I'm maybe not going to get it? Let me explain a little more. Okay, so your teachers think very hard about the books we choose for you before we ask you to read them with us, okay? We don't want a book that's too easy because that's not gonna give you a much of a challenge, okay? You can do those on your own. You don't want one that's too hard because that's just gonna be frustrating. You, we want you to read a just right book which means you know a lot of the words, but you still have to work to figure out some of them, okay? And we really think about what might be a good book for you before we ask you to read them. When you have a just right book, you shouldn't need all that much help, okay? So we've chosen that for you because we don't think you're going to need that much. Sometimes you're in a situation where you don't think that you can do it, but we know that you can, okay? You could just see a word and you're like, there's no way. But we as your teachers think, yeah, no, I, we think you can do it, okay? Or sometimes you might be having an off day or a lazy moment and you see a word and you just ask for help right away, okay? It's just like, nah. And then here we are going, nah, I don't think you need help. Mrs. Underwood going, mm, I, don't, I don't think so. If that's the case, and we think that you can do it, you're going to hear us say, try it. Try it. You might even hear us say, try it again. Try it again. Try it one more time. We might even say, try using, and we'll name a specific strategy for you to try that we think is gonna help you where you're stuck, okay? So if we think, oh, you know what? Chunky Monkey would help right now. I'd say, why don't you try Chunky Monkey, okay? On the other hand, sometimes you're right, okay? Sometimes, look at this girl going, oh, and this boy going, this is too hard. Sometimes you are right, okay, sometimes, um, you see a word that we haven't learned yet, like a sight word or a word that has really big patterns in it that we haven't learned. And if that's the case, we're going to tell you what the word is. It's called a tell. You ask for it and we just tell you what it is. Okay. The point is you should not be afraid to ask for help. 
Okay. So if you get stuck, always say, Hey, you know, I, I could use some help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Just know you might not always get it. So now it's your turn to practice asking for help. Look at helpful kangaroo. You can ask for help just like we do. Here we're going, help, help. So when you come across a word you don't know, just remember you can always ask for help. Okay? All right, guys. Happy reading. See you next time.